officials to know and understand the pain they cause when they mention the word deportation. It is like opening a trunk full of pain and suffering to think that such an honest human being can be separated from his family. My, fam my father came to the States 12 years ago, a man without criminal charges who had only dreamed of finally getting out of the darkness, of leaving behind the fear of being separated from his family again. Today his grandchildren are the driving force that spurred him on. My father is an artist who works as a carpenter. He made the chicken sculptures that decorate the center of Annapolis. With the United Church of Christ, with all of us gathered in this place so that we can share in this message because this is an unjust law. Yeah. And people such as Guillermo cannot even walk out of their homes to go to work. It is totally unacceptable that you separate parents from their children. No permitimos que separen a padres, la madre de sus hijos y de sus hijas. And when you get the church angry, we decide to get our hands dirty. We decide to get involved. We walk the streets. We preach the gospel, not only on Sunday, but we demand justice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we fight for the rights and the dignity of all people. Scripture says, when a stranger resides in your land, you shall not stranger. The stranger who resides with you shall be with you as a citizen among you. You shall know the stranger as yourself. You were strangers in the land of Egypt, and I am the Lord your God. There's a whole lot of talk about religion on the right and religion on the left. Let me tell you, my friends, there is nothing right about a religion who deports citizens of the United States. There is nothing right about a religion that deports immigrants who only came here for a better life for their family. There is nothing right about religion that causes into question those who come here and contribute to this society, work hard. laws in this country that continue to marginalize and wall people off and separate us. We want to be together. We want families united. We want people like Guillermo to be with his family. He should be kissing his grandchildren every night to bed because we believe in family unity. So we will continue that struggle in our place along the border, but you need to continue your struggle wherever you are, whatever community, find the immigrants and be with them, stand with them, work with them, walk with them. Amen. Amen.